The USS Ronald Reagan is headed for San Diego tonight after a four-day visit in Santa Barbara. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez takes us inside for a special look at the supercarrier. The USS Ronald Reagan looks big from shore, but when you get up close, it's breathtaking. If you took the Ronald Reagan uh, or, or, or any Nimitz-class aircraft carrier uh, and you stood her up on, on, on her end, she is almost as long as the Empire State Building is tall. The ship is a floating city that can house more than 4,000 sailors and carry 80 jets and helicopters. This is Hangar Bay 3, and I had a good friend describe it as the ultimate man's garage, because this is where we can work on all of our aircraft. To get the aircraft from the hangar to the flight deck, giant elevators are used. But to get to the brains of the operation, you have to take the stairs. We're now on the bridge of the ship, and I'm sitting in the captain's chair, and I must say, this is a very good view. You know, this is where the action takes place, so I'm, I'm pretty uh, fortunate to be a part of that. When they're on board from here, you can see the F-18s fly off the deck at 120 miles an hour in just 2.3 seconds. It's breathtaking. It really is. It's, it's incredible. Uh, I think, you know, I, have, I think I have one of the best jobs in the world, not just in the Navy, because this is my office. Even after 19 years in the Navy, Senior Chief Jamie Karoski says this never gets old. It's a touch screen so you can order these bells. The rest of the sailors also enjoyed showing off the ship as it was in Santa Barbara before it was time to head off on another journey. Reporting from the aircraft elevator on the USS Ronald Reagan, I'm Victoria Sanchez in Santa Barbara. All right, fascinating to see. The